Coming to terms with infidelity is a hard pill to swallow. You'll dang near choke on it. But what's worse is living a life that you don't even recognize anymore. Today on Our Space, Op moves on from his choking hazard and learns to play the leading role in his own life again. Coming to terms with the fact my wife is cheating on me. I'm sure, like many people, when I first started getting thoughts in the back of my head about her being unfaithful, my immediate reaction was, I'm thinking crazy. She could never do that to me. But I'm increasingly confident that's exactly what she's doing to me. I haven't yet come across a smoking gun, but there's been an escalating degree of behavioral flags that can't be ignored. Wanting to travel for work more and expressing desires for some time apart while she stays on the other side of the country more and more. Being increasingly guarded over her phone, never leaving it out of her sight. Going on long walks at night, almost two times as long as she'd ever would have before, supposedly talking to her mom the whole time. Taking her vibrator with her on this most recent trip, despite telling me she never uses those alone. The real kicker she left her iPad at home before this most recent work trip and decided it needed to be remotely reset from the airport. I guess she doesn't realize there's a timestamp in iCloud when someone does that. And there's no good reason to do such a thing, unless you're concerned someone's going to see messages, you don't want them to. I'm still mourning the loss of our marriage and I don't even recognize myself. Even typing this, I feel like I'm sort of paranoid and insecure freak, but I don't think I'm crazy I never had an insecure bone in my body around us until a few weeks ago, and all of this has culminated since then. She's absolutely cheating on me. Update. Wow. Thank you for all the support. Did not expect to get this many responses to my story as well as so many people wanting to follow this throwaway account. I guess it's entertaining. I will keep posting updates on how this goes. Also, because I've gotten this tip multiple times, I can't access your phone records. It's a company paid phone. We are not on the same network or bill. Otherwise, I would have done that a while ago. Honestly, if it looks like a duck, swims like a duck, and quacks like a duck, it's probably a duck. We need to follow our gut instinct more and really trust what our minds and bodies are trying to say. I feel like we know instinctively when something's off. I just wish we had the ball to confront those that do us wrong, so we waste less time and energy on them than we already are. Update. Got the receipts. She's a cheater. The pie came through. Best $1,000 I ever spent got photos of her taking her screw boy up to the hotel room while holding hands. Maybe I should have waited, but the anger was overwhelming. I just messaged her saying, I know all about it, and I hope to have a good time. It's over for us, and attach one of the photos. It felt good. It's her birthday today too. I hope I ruined it for her. Like the coward she is, she didn't respond. But she's out there a whole extra week, which gives me some time to start putting the affairs in order. Glad I got closure and confirmed I wasn't crazy. I deserved so much better than that gaslighting. C word. Update. She responded a few hours later saying, what is this? The gaslighting and narcissism is insane. Update 2. Wow. Really, thank you everyone for all the support. I've been flooded with positive messages, and it means a lot. I told my family about the divorce, and while they were upset, they totally support me. As do my close friends, she did ask to talk and I ignored it for several hours before I finally just telling her I'd rather wait a day to do so. This is obviously a devastating betrayal, but I'm taking the high road. The world needs more love, not less. I've retained counsel for a lawyer and insured doesn't have access to the credit cards where I hold liabilities. I think we can mostly be amicable. Let's hope. The community has some thoughts about this. Live Maze 6410 says, be prepared for the. It doesn't mean anything. We can work it out. You weren't paying attention to me. DOP replies, which is just funny now. How could I ever believe a word she says? I can and will do so much better. Live Maze 6410 replies again. In your situation, I would absolutely move on to bigger and better things. You stated before that there was a divorce talk and separation. This puts the nail in. You'll be fine long term. Grieve the end of the marriage, heal, get support from family and friends, and move on.
Cop replies, it feels like a huge weight off, actually, because now I feel nothing for her. Yeah, it sucks to get divorced and all that, but it's even worse to stay with someone as heinous as she is. I'm free. Zebrig says, be ready to be lived to manipulate it and gaslight all the way through. She will tell you all kinds of things. It didn't mean anything. It meant everything. I love you. You love me so much. You needed to screw another dude. We were having problems, and yet I never cheated. You weren't paying any attention to me? No. The correct thing is you weren't paying me any attention. All of it was for your screwboy. You don't know what I was going through. Of course, I don't. You didn't tell me. And when I asked, you told me all was good. It was a mistake. No. A mistake is buying almond milk instead of soy milk. It was a series of decisions you made. You made your choices now own them. Don't do this. I didn't do anything. You did. You chose to do all you wanted. Now I choose to protect myself. Don't you trust me? Hell, no. If you told me it was raining and we were outside and I was soaking wet, I would still look up to confirm if it was rain. What will we do? We, we won't do anything. I will now make a response and reaction to your choices. I'm sorry. Yes. You are sorry. You got caught, but you didn't feel sorry till now. You don't understand. You are absolutely correct. I have never cheated. So how can I understand what F up thing is going through your mind? I will do anything. Please don't do this. I can't trust you. I can't believe you. You did one of the worst things that can be done. You betrayed me on so many levels that you can't even begin to understand. If you had sex with her in the last six months without condoms, go take an SCE test. If you have children, go take a paternity test. Sorry. Talk to a lawyer, separate finances, put all her things in a storage unit, inform her where they are. If you talk in person with her, record it, be it video or audio, but record it. Protect yourself as well as you possibly can. Go to a therapist. Talk to friends. Talk to family. Don't go to the bottle or drugs. Don't bottle your feelings inside. Go on walks. Hike, to the gym, go to your hobbies. This is not the end of the book. This is the end of a chapter. You will come out better and stronger. You will be okay. Maybe not now or tomorrow, but you will be okay. Blah blah blah. It's always the same. They want to talk because they're guilty of getting caught, or she's just going to deny it and push it right back on you and blame you for her choices and use that to excuse the infidelity. Honestly, there's really nothing you need to hear from her lying, cheating lips, save your energy, and let her talk to your lawyer update. We talked today for the first time. She actually suggested that the photographic evidence I had of her holding the hands of a guy and walking up to her hotel room with him didn't prove anything. Apparently, he's just a friend and someone who would listen to her because I was supposedly not doing that. I told her I didn't believe her, and it was irrelevant at this point, I think ultimately, she tried to save face because she was suggesting it's not fair for me to tell my friends and family she was having an affair. I didn't really answer that but I just told her I had no intention of slandering her to her own family because it accomplishes nothing. In the end, she agreed it to pretty much all the proposed terms of separation I had laid out. She also told me she'd already lease an apartment in this new city beginning next month. Which again, as a telltale sign to me, she's being duplicative. The only real point of contention is going to be who gets the dog, which can hopefully be mediated quickly. It's been a whirlwind few days, but I'm looking forward to having all of this behind me. So her going up to a hotel room with a random guy doesn't prove anything. Did she say that? Why not meet at a restaurant? Why do you need a freaking hotel room? NWTGM 1384 chimes in too many people believe that to prove adultery, it must be beyond any reasonable doubt. That is for criminal cases. Divorce is a civil case. It is considered proven by their preponderance of evidence, i.e., they walked hand in hand to the hotel and spent the night and the next morning left. Hello? Any reasonable person concludes? He is so lucky his wayward wife isn't too bright. Dreaming of Lou says, after you divorce, please expose her she's in a bubble right now. No real consequences. She needs to feel it. 
Affairs aren't fairy tales, they're nightmares. Wake her up, please. Honestly, I think you're being kind by not exposing her to friends and family. The moment this divorce gets hairy, which it will, she won't waste one second now running your name through the dirt. Update. I have to say, I feel amazing. There's a massive weight off of my shoulders knowing I'm getting out of a toxic relationship. There's a lot of stuff to get through right now in terms of selling the house, but we're almost done with the legal paperwork to agree on terms of separation. And within a few days, she'll be gone on the other side of the country. I know a lot of people have said this, but for me, it's true as well. My biggest regret is that I didn't do this sooner. I even started talking to someone, and she's not only completely understanding of the situation. She's making me realize how bad of a fit my soon-to-be ex was for me in general. Compared to who else is out there. I don't know if it'll go anywhere or not. Far too soon to tell, but it's just so refreshing at the moment and makes me very excited for what's to come in the future. I've learned from my mistakes and know myself better now than ever before. I know what I want in a future partner and what I won't compromise on. I'm free. Happy and eager to live my life. Update. It's now been over a month since the infidelity was confirmed, and I called it quits with my soon-to-be ex-wife. I have no regrets, and I feel happier than I have in years. And reflecting, I realized just how deeply the perception of being in a relationship and the fear of judgment would come from ending a marriage contributed to my unhappiness. I stayed way longer than I should have and suffered through a dead bedroom for years thinking that it was just the way it had to be. My only regret now is that it didn't leave sooner. Now I want to read others struggling with the decision to stay or leave marriages that clearly leave them unhappy my heart simply breaks for them. In my experience, the fear of leaving was so much worse than the reality, and I hope others in that situation could take a step back and really reflect on what's in their own best interest. Everyone deserves to live a happy life. Although it's a tough pill to swallow, I'm glad you've come to this realization op. I hope you don't let anybody else waste your time like your ex, and I really hope you start living life for you moving forward. Do things that make you happy. Live your life, and don't play the supporting role in your own life. We are in charge of ourselves. Only we can make ourselves happy. We can't find happiness in someone else. Have you ever stayed way too long in a relationship? Share your experiences in the comments below. And thank you for joining us today on our space. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And while you're at it, please let us know what you thought of today's content. Until next time.